anyway I'm just going out to the van and I'm going to uh, throw some minor changes here as long as I'm uh, doing this acid test of this new process and procedure in the previous video which I haven't released yet either but by this time they both be out I uh, I found this new uh, rear view a backup camera it, this is the only component to it and it's a Wi-Fi one so I can use my phone to plug into the Wi-Fi for some reason there are jackasses who just love to punch the mirror of any wide vehicle because they know it will be annoying to get it straight it can take 10 minutes of checking going to the opposite side you've just got to get out go around move it then go back and check it over and over again it's a pain in the butt i i'm i wish horrible things on the people who do that and that's not nice can't punish jackasses for being jackasses anyway uh back on the other side here uh i have uh really happy with this uh this canvas i've got out here uh you know i put this canvas back it's actually real canvas and it's rained pretty pretty frequently and it's and it is uh it's maintaining its condition uh i'm using this uh fabric waterproof on it in addition uh uh, these are my standard cameras and I'm getting another one because my rear view camera has not been very good but of course after I buy it it seems to improve so I'm trying to figure out why it exactly improved this is a little tiny one here I have between the canvas setup that I have down here from the rear and the the uh, the tarp uh, the plastic tarp I have above it for camo if necessary so, uh, you know, so I really haven't uh, decided what I'm going to do with the other one right now. I won't, throw it, I, won't, I won't throw it away, but I'll keep it because of these things sometimes go out. And what I was thinking about doing is potentially placing it right here. That was what I was thinking about doing with this one. But I might do it with the other one just to make it useful. Then I can see who's right by the barn door. Everything else has been pretty static. I'm ready to sort of get back on the road, but you know, I'm still sitting in front of the computer for 8 to 14 hours a day, and that's just not convenient to do it in any van, let alone a low top van. I'll give you a quick rundown, and that's basically what's going on now. I'm going to be showing some things. I'm going to looking for a new profession for potentially my future uh, lifestyle when I retire. I have the... Uh, I have a mule-like persistence and a uh, a uh, general lack of my own limitations that usually makes me become reasonably good at something eventually.